Hola y bienvenidos a Coffee Break Spanish. This is lesson 17 and in lesson 17 we're going to be asking for a table in a restaurant and dealing with some of the things that you need to in a restaurant situation. Now, lots of the language that you've already learned for ordering drinks and snacks can be reused when ordering food from a menu in a restaurant. And hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll have picked up more useful phrases for dealing with these kind of situations. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Bueno, hoy yo tengo hambre. Today I am hungry. Tengo hambre means I am hungry. It actually means I have hunger. Tengo hambre. Can you repeat that, please? Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. So it's the same tengo as when you say tengo un hermano. Tengo un hermano, I have a brother. Tengo hambre, I have hunger. Tengo hambre. Tengo hambre. And if you're thirsty, you say tengo sed. Tengo sed. Tengo sed. Tengo sed. Muy bien. Let's see if we can find un restaurante. ¿Hay un restaurante por aquí? Sí, hay un restaurante cerca de aquí. Muy bien. Put you on the spot there, Cara. You didn't expect that. <laughs> so, hay un restaurante cerca de aquí. Hay 19 restaurantes en esta ciudad. Sí, en la ciudad donde vivo yo hay 19 restaurantes. Y muchas cosas interesantes. ¿eh? Sí. Muy bien. Ok, so we found a restaurant. We go to the door of the restaurant and the first thing that we would want to ask is Do you have a table? Now let's think back to when we were talking about brothers and sisters. How did we ask Do you have any brothers or sisters? ¿Tienes un hermano? ¿Tienes un hermano o tienes hermanos? ¿Tienes un hermano? Do you have a brother? ¿Tienes hermanos? Do you have brothers and sisters? So, do you have can be tienes. However, when we're talking to someone in a restaurant in this kind of situation, we would use the formal form. And the formal form is not tienes, but... It's tiene. 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 Tiene una mesa. Tiene una mesa. Now, una mesa is a table. Tiene una mesa. Tiene una mesa. Now, the first thing that you're likely to be asked in response to this question is, ¿Para cuántas personas? ¿Para cuántas personas? Okay, so ¿Para cuántas personas would mean? For how many people? Exactly, that's it. The word cuantos or cuantas means how many. So, para cuantas personas, for how many people. If you're asked then, para cuantas personas, how would you say for four people? Para cuatro. Para persons. cuatro personas. personas. Para cuatro personas. Para cuatro personas. Or you could just say para cuatro. In fact, you could say, ¿Tiene una mesa para cuatro? ¿Tiene una mesa para cuatro? Muy bien. Ok. The next thing that you might be asked would be something like, ¿Fumadores o no fumadores? ¿Fumadores o no fumadores? Ok. Fumador. Fumador es a smoker. So, fumadores is in the smoking section or in the no fumadores section. So, fumadores o no fumadores. Fumadores o no fumadores. Exacto. In Scotland, we have a smoking ban in, in place and you're not allowed to smoke in any restaurants at all. Um, in Spain, you can smoke in some restaurants and I'm not entirely sure what the situation is in, in Spanish-speaking parts of, of Latin America. So you can decide which section you want to sit in. We're going to do a bit of role play here. I'm going to be the, the restaurant manager at the door and Cara is going to arrive at the restaurant and ask for a table. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Tiene una mesa para dos, por favor? Sí, un, un momento. Uh, ¿Fumadores o no fumadores? No fumadores, por favor. Sí, por aquí. 
Now, in that situation, um, Cara obviously got the table for two that she was looking for in the... Which section was it? The no smoking the section. No smoking section, that's right. Now, the waiter, or me, <laughs> I said, um, por aquí. Normally, por aquí, when we're asking hay un banco por aquí, means around here. When a waiter says something like that to you in a restaurant, then it means over this way, please come this way, or something like that. Por aquí. Por aquí. Por aquí. Muy bien. Okay, let's do another situation, and something different is going to happen this time. Cara's going to be asking for a table for two again, and she's going to be told something different. See if you can work out what she's told. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Tiene una mesa para dos? Lo siento, hemos cerrado. Okay, I'll say again what I said there. Lo siento, hemos cerrado. Hemos cerrado means, literally, we've closed. Okay, so we're closed, we've finished serving. Hemos cerrado. Hemos cerrado. Muy bien. Okay, another situation. Um, same again, Cara, if you arrive at the, at the restaurant. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Tiene una mesa para dos, por favor? A ver, mm, lo siento, estamos llenos. Hay que esperar. Okay, in that particular situation, I said... Estamos llenos. Estamos llenos. Any idea what that means? We are... Not sure. Okay, it does mean we are something. Estamos is the we are part. And llenos means full. Estamos llenos. Estamos llenos. Okay, I could also have said, No tenemos mesas. No tenemos mesas. And do you know what that means? No tenemos mesas. We don't have any tables. Exactly. No tenemos mesas. Tenemos is the we part. Um, I would say tengo, I have. Tienes, you have. Or tiene, you formal have. And tenemos means we have. So no tenemos mesas. We don't have any tables. Lo siento, no tenemos mesas. Or lo siento, estamos llenos. I also said something else. I said, hay que esperar. Hay que esperar. Now, hay que means you have to do something. You have to, or it's necessary to. So, hay que esperar means you have to wait. It's necessary to wait. Hay que esperar. Hay que esperar. Muy bien. Hay que esperar means you have to wait. And, Cara, you could have said in that situation, ¿Cuánto hay que esperar? ¿Cuánto hay que esperar? Exacto. ¿Cuánto hay que esperar? ¿Cuánto is related to cuántas personas? ¿Cuántas personas? How many people? ¿Cuánto means how much? So, how much time, in this case, do you have to wait? How much time, how long will we have to wait? ¿Cuánto hay que esperar? ¿Cuánto hay que esperar? Muy bien. Is that the same hay que that was in the Christmas song? Um, which line? Hay, hay que, que festejar. festejar. Hay que festejar. You have to celebrate, exactly. So, hay que esperar, you have to wait. Hay que festejar, you have to celebrate. Exactly. Muy bien. So you now have three situations that you can cope with arriving at a restaurant, either getting a table and being asked to follow the waiter, or being told that they've closed already, or that you'll have to wait because they're full. Let's imagine you're now sitting at your table. Can you remember from last week how you would say, can you bring us? Nos trae. Nos trae. Okay, so how would you say, can you bring us the menu, please? Nos trae la carta. Nos trae la carta, por favor. Exacto. Nos trae la carta. Something else that you might want to ask if you're arriving at a restaurant, you might ask, Nos trae una sillita para el bebé. Nos trae una sillita para el bebé. Nos trae una sillita para el bebé. Okay, this is something para el bebé. Who do you think that's for? Baby. A baby. And if I tell you that una silla is a chair, 
What do you think una sillita is? A high chair? A high chair, yeah. It's a little chair. So a, a special chair for the baby. And that's called different things in different parts of the world. In Scotland, we'd call it a high chair. A small chair, una sillita. And the ita, or ito, at the end of a word, makes it smaller. So una sillita para el bebé. Una sillita para el bebé. Now, one thing that we would like to do here is talk about all the different types of food that you could be ordering in, in a restaurant. The slight problem is that because this programme is aimed at Spanish learners all over the world, it would be very difficult to cover all the different types of food that you might come across, and particularly because there are so many regional varieties of food both in Spain and in Spanish-speaking parts of Latin America. We'd suggest that you get a good phrase book that gives you a menu decoder um, which allows you basically to use the, the phrase book to uh, understand the menu. Or you could also ask, ¿Tiene una carta en inglés? ¿Tiene una carta en inglés? Uh -huh. Or in some parts of Latin America, ¿Tiene un menú en inglés? ¿Tiene, tiene un menú en inglés? Muy bien. Can you tell me how you would say can you bring us an English menu, please? Or a menu in English? Nos trae una carta en inglés. Muy bien. Nos trae una carta en inglés. Perfecto. Okay, it's time to order our food. Now, last week we learned all sorts of phrases for ordering drinks, and it's exactly the same this week. We could say, para mí. Para mí. Or, quiero. Quiero. And I'm going to teach you another word this week. You could say quisiera. Quisiera. Quisiera means I would like. It's a more polite way of saying quiero. Quisiera. 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 Okay. So, the situation is that we've got the menu. We've been reading through the menu. Perhaps it's an English menu. You could say... I would like this and point to something. Quiero esto. Quiero esto. Muy bien. Quiero esto. Or quisiera esto. Quisiera esto. Perfecto. Sometimes restaurants have photos or pictures in their menus of the kind of things that they offer. Equally, they sometimes have things sitting out. So you could ask, what is in this? What does this dish contain? And the key word here is lleva. 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 Muy bien. It's quite tricky to say. Lleva. It's the double L sound. Lleva. Lleva. Muy bien. You could say then, que lleva. Que lleva. What does this contain? Literally, what does it carry? So if you point to something and say, ¿Qué lleva? ¿Qué lleva? Or you could say, what does this dish contain? ¿Qué lleva este plato? ¿Qué lleva este plato? ¿Qué lleva este plato? ¿Qué lleva este plato? Muy bien. Of course, you may be told what the dish does contain, and at that point you would be using your menu decoder that we suggested earlier to find out what all these things mean. It might, for example, be tomate or ajo. Tomate is tomato, ajo, garlic, and so on. You might be sitting at a table and see something that looks absolutely delicious at the table next to you. So, you could ask, ¿Qué están comiendo? Ellos. ¿Qué están comiendo ellos? Ellos. Ellos are them. What are they doing? So, ¿qué están comiendo? Están comiendo means are eating. ¿Qué están comiendo ellos? ¿Qué están comiendo ellos? Muy bien, muy bien. Um, is Están, like, estás and está. Yes, it's from the same verb. Estar means to be, and it's a verb that's used to talk about how you are 
feeling, for example, como estás, is another way of saying que tal, como estás, como está usted. Como estás, como está usted. Muy bien, como estás, como está usted. But it's also used in this particular construction when it's used are doing something, I am doing something, you are doing something. So if we said que están comiendo ellos, what are they eating? Or what are eating they, really? How would you say what are you eating? Que estás comiendo ellos. Well, not ellos, because that's oh, them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what que, are you eating? Que, están, que estás comiendo. Que estás comiendo. Okay, you could say tú at the end um, to make it more clear that you're talking about you. But que estás comiendo. ¿Qué estás comiendo? Uh, and to say, I am eating something. Estoy comiendo carne. Estoy comiendo carne. Carne is meat. Estoy comiendo carne. Estoy comiendo carne. Muy bien. And that was a good question because it's important that we do get used to thinking about these verbs and so on. Okay, so one more phrase tonight. And that is, ¿Qué me recomienda. ¿Qué me recomienda? ¿Qué me recomienda? ¿Qué me recomienda? Okay, now can you guess what this means? What do you recommend? Exactly. What do you recommend to me? The me part in there is to me. ¿Qué me recomienda? ¿Qué me recomienda? Muy bien. And again, in this situation, the waiter would explain things by pointing or showing what there is on the menu um, and you can order from that. Bueno, muchas frases y muchas palabras hoy. Lots of phrases and lots of words today, no? Sí. Yeah, you could, you could say, hemos aprendido, we have learned. Hemos aprendido. Muchas frases. Muchas frases. Y muchas palabras. Y muchas palabras. Hoy, so today. Hoy. Hemos aprendido muchas frases y muchas palabras. Hemos aprendido muchas palabras y muchas frases. Sí. Eh, hoy. Hoy, y si puede decir también, hemos aprendido muchas palabras y muchas frases con Coffee Break Spanish, ¿verdad? Sí, verdad. And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break Spanish. Thanks for joining us, and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break Spanish community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakspanish and follow at Learn Spanish on Twitter. Muchas gracias y hasta pronto. This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.